Do you feel additional pressure, extra pressure than you felt in the past? No, I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm a high pressure guy by nature. You know, every year is the same to me as far as the desire to win and the, and the will and the, the uh, just the level of uh, competitiveness. And so I'm excited about this year. Um, you know, we've got a lot of uh, good returning players. We've added some real dynamic players uh, to the roster through recruiting. And so I'm excited to get going and see what we got. Travis Wilson's back. When you heard that news, your reaction? Well, it was first of all a relief for Travis and his family just from a health standpoint. Uh, obviously, it's, it's big for our program to get him back. But uh, just relieved that uh, the doctors have given him clearance that he's healthy and okay, and, and the football's a bonus to the whole thing. Now that he can play, is he the guy going into the fall? He's the guy going in, but he's going to be pushed. We have uh, several of our uh, quarterbacks in the program already made progress through spring. Connor Manning, Brandon Cox, Adam Schultz made himself a better player through spring. We've added Kendall Thompson, who uh, is transferred from Oklahoma, uh, immediately eligible due to the graduation uh, rule that's in place. And so he's going to get a lot of looks early on in camp. We've got to find out what he's all about and, and uh, what his capabilities are and should be a very good competition. With Travis Wilson now healthy as a junior, do you expect him, if he wins this battle, to have a breakout season for you guys? We, we hope so. Yeah, we sure hope so. And, and we thought we were on the verge of that last year. You know, we beat uh, Stanford at our place, game six, to go four and two, and felt we had some momentum. And uh, Travis gets hurt the next week, hurts his hand. And so it was uh, you know, something that we thought we had uh, made great strides and ended up hitting a skid at that point in time. And, Season didn't turn out anywhere near like we were hoping it would, but uh, you know, Travis, he's worked hard in the offseason. He's, he's physically more uh, developed and, and with strength and, and just the body fat is, you know, he's about 6% body fat, so he's, he's worked hard and he's ready to go. You made another change again at offensive coordinator. How difficult, how frustrating has that been that you've had to constantly have these changes and what impact yeah. has it had on the program? Well. Uh, first of all, it's not ideal to, you know, to have a, as much change and, and uh, lack of continuity, I guess you could say, at that spot. Now, a lot of it's beyond our control. You know, Andy went to Kansas and Norm got the job at Hawaii, and you know, there's been some, some, uh, some reasons for it. It hasn't all just been uh, making a change every year voluntarily. But bottom line, we're grateful that Dave is in our program and running the, running the offense. Spring ball, if that's any indication of things to come, we're very pleased with what happened in spring. It's not a wholesale change. There's no philosophy or uh, schematic, uh, you know, major changes. We're still a spread offense. Just going to pick the tempo up and add some elements that uh, Dave has brought, which hopefully will make us better. And just overall expectations. What, what are your What are your expectations? We got to get back to a bowl game. That's uh, you know we've been one game short of that in the last two years. Uh, last year we got to be better finishers as well. The two the two main things for us this year: keep the quarterback healthy, be better finishers. We can't take a two touchdown lead in the Arizona State game and let it get away from us, lose an overtime game to Oregon State, uh, have UCLA on the ropes and not be able to, to uh, make a play at the end there to, to get that game. And so that'll be the, uh, the emphasis is uh, being better finishers and then keeping that quarterback healthy.